good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome to episode 186, Stars at Night, on My Elegant Cards. So, um, we're getting a bit closer to Christmas. We've got just over two months to go, so... Um, hoping that you're working on your Christmas card and not having a major panic later. Okay, um, I've got I've got three cards today that are pretty easy and they're Christmassy, so hopefully that will give you some uh, inspiration. Um, of course, as usual. When you place a order with me for $25 in product, I will send you what you need to make these cards. Um, if you share my live, I will put you in my raffle. Talking of the raffle, um, I'll turn you down so we can do the raffle for last week. We only have four people, which is a bit disappointing, but there you are. So let me just turn you down and get set up so that you can see what I'm doing. very square but I don't think that really matters seems dark as well I don't know why hmm. why are you so dark okay um does that make any difference no. Well, anyway, last week's raffle, Barbara, Diana, Kathy and Kim. And it's number four, which is Kim. Okay. Kim seems pretty lucky. Maybe you should consider doing the lottery, Kim. Get that out of the way. And then I'll show you the cards that we're going to make. And this is Knight of Navy and Silver Foil. Here is the next one, and this is Starry Night, because that seemed appropriate for this. Using the embossing um, folder from the Stars at Night bundle, and also some of these gold star embellishments, which I wanted to use, so I also did the... In, um, sentiment in gold and here here is the um, stamp set that I was using and here is a rather unusual one but as you can see here are the uh, stamps and this is um, pretty peacock with actually I'm not sure if it was um, re looks like it was real red uh, on these berry things whatever they are I decided they were berries maybe they're not okay move that up a little bit get out my package did I need to show you anything else? Oh, the 
you've also got quite a lot of dyes which are rather fun. So, and here's the packet for the embossing folder. It, it, the folder itself is actually over with my um, die cutting machine. So, get all of this out and get going with the first card. Well, I did the die cutting already because you all know how to die cut. And so this one cuts out a star and makes lots of little holes. So it looks really good layered on silver when having that coming out of really well of good. So we can put this together. Just carefully doing the edges because that's all I've got. <laughs> Not carefully enough because I went over the edge, but turn that into a ball and get rid of it. Okay. Okay, so there's that one, and that is going to go, hmm, let's say about there, we'll hold it down, and get some of that, the buddy, which don't go looking for it in the catalog because it's not there but you can order it from Amazon and that works it will stop you from getting the uh, the powder in other places Places you don't want it. So it's worth having one of these. Okay. I like to give it a good flick. And, um, yes, that looks good. So I'll just move this out of the way. get out the heating tool. And then I'll take the bend of the, in the front of the card out a bit by heating the back of the card.
and wipe off any of the powder. It's still a bit bent. Sort that out. There we go. Then this goes on. Let's use this and it's a bit better, isn't it? There you go. So we're going to add tape runner to the back of this. So, and we have our lovely our lovely layer to add on. And then we want a few of the uh, festive, festive pearls, yes, and I've got some in silver, so let's just add a few of these. And there we go. Quite easy to produce a number of them at the same time, I think. So it's all good. So that's the first one. A reminder of the second one. Embossing folder, really. So, um... I already did the embossing folder because you know how to do them and you don't need to watch me doing an embossing folder, do you? So this is, as I said, Starry Sky because it seemed appropriate. And I've got um, the embossing piece and also I'm putting it on Starry Sky as well. So using the seal, stamping seal, which happily fits in this case, which is very nice, because I had a few of them. Still sticky. Okay. Shall we add our? Yes. Oh no! I just dropped them. There we go. We'll add our. Uh... embellishments they're perfect for this I assume they were made for it there we go And then we have to do the tricky bit. Here is okay. Let me just 
going to eat this, the gold embossing powder. Running out of space. Okay. Here's the trick. Get it on this straight. Let's see what we got. Oop. Dropped it. Well, it's not brilliant. So let's have another go and then we can pick which one we like best. A bit difficult from this angle. Makes no difference which way up it is, but it just makes you feel better about it. How does this one look? Let's see. Actually, I like that one better. So let's smother it in gold embossing powder. Should have got my. Oh, I can see my peg, so it's all right. We can. not burn fingers. Winnie sent this to me. The pegs or pins as she called them. After she watched me get a bit close to uh, the heat. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why, but I have to hold the heating tool with my left hand. Need that piece, don't need the peg, and we'll just wipe off any excess. Okay, and this is half an inch wide, which, as you can see, is hard to get in the right place, but. nicely fits the tape runner. So maybe I'll put it on the right way up. I, I think that would be better. Yeah. And there's our second card. Okay. Reminder of the third one. Here we go. Let me just get the embossing stuff out of the way. Okay. So for this one, 
we just need a white layer. You know, it's uh, four by five and a quarter, of course. And we're just going up the side. So, move these over here. So, let's start by... Actually, while we're here, let's just do that piece. Okay. And then we just work our way up. Okay, let's get those over here. Uh, and we're going to add Merry Christmas to here. And there we go. Fully expected to mess up the Merry Christmas, so I'd have to come up with something. But uh, it's good. Then we take this. This is uh, real red. And I'm just going to... Colour in what could be berries. Well, I'm assuming they're berries. I don't think that one was, but whatever. I actually think they're possibly, some of them are little leaves, but I wanted some more colour on here. And then, because it is Christmas, um, I'm just going to add a bit of sparkle. with the wink of Stella. Or as some of my friends call it, I winked it up. There you go. So, um, now we need to attach this to our car base, which is um, a pretty peacock one. I've got glue on the case. I don't know how you do that, but hey, I've managed it. And so here's our cardstock. Make sure it's the right way around. Yes, it is. And I had my fingers stuck. 
film down and then we've got these brushed metallic uh, embellishments and I quite like how these dull gold ones look There we go, and there is our third card. So let me just move things a bit out of the way. So, you can see all those yes you can and so i hope you enjoyed watching me make these cards this morning and that they've inspired you to use the stars at night suite and uh, there's loads more of course to use so these may pop up again uh, quite soon so um, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you all next week. Okay, have a great week.